A new storm is expected this afternoon, bringing winds up to 110 kilometers per hour. Environment Canada has issued wind warnings and special weather statements across Vancouver Island and the coast. Now, it won't be as intense as Tuesday's storm, but the high winds may bring down more trees and cause more power outages and problems for current outages as well. CBC's climate and science specialist Darius Madavi joins me now. Hi, Darius. Hello. Okay, what do we need to know about this incoming storm? Right, so uh, the last one that moved in, we were calling it a bomb cyclone, and the, the term was very, very, uh, I think, well used in that case. Uh, I mean, it, it strengthened so quickly, uh, double the uh, speed at which it would need to to be considered a bomb cyclone. Mm -hmm. So the term was really apt and really captured the the, the speed this uh, storm strengthened, how, how low it got, how low that pressure got, how intense it was. This storm that's coming in is also a rapidly intensifying low pressure system. It does seem like it will meet the criteria to be considered a bomb cyclone, uh, but I'm a little bit more hesitant to use the term this time because it is a little bit more like a, a, a more typical BC storm. It'll still be intense, but it's something more similar to what we might see in a, a typical year. So uh, you may see the term bomb cyclone thrown around, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to use it quite as widely because I don't think it's as apt. All those connotations that come with bomb cyclone. Now, mm -hmm. there is a difference in terms of how much farther it will get, right, inland? Yes, that's right. Uh, so the last one, we got very, very lucky that it stayed offshore. Uh, this one, the track is still a little bit uncertain, but we're getting a better picture. It's pretty clear now. Uh, it will come closer to shore, uh, still not looking like it's going to move over Vancouver Island, but come closer. So it's less intense, but it will be closer, which means we will still see very high wind gusts uh, in, in many areas. Uh, I think uh, just sort of to give a, a rundown of where we can expect to see the highest wind gusts. Uh, we've been wind warnings issued pretty much up and down the coast. Most of Vancouver Island and the coast are under wind warnings. Uh, we're talking on the north coast, 30 gusting 60, with the inlet seeing gusts up to 90 kilometers per hour. Central coast, 50 gusting 70, with the inlets getting up to 90 kilometers per hour. On the island, the North Island, uh, 30 uh, kilometer per hour winds gusting 50. Uh, and uh, the west coast of the island, probably going to see the strongest winds. Mm. 70 gusting up to 90 or 100 kilometers per hour. The highest gust we see in this particular storm will probably uh, land about 110 to 120 kilometers per hour uh, and likely recorded on the west coast there. Uh, inland Vancouver Island, 30 gusting 60. East coast of the island, 60 gusting 80. South Island, 50 gusting 80. And sort of uh, to give you an idea of where we can expect to see the most widespread power outages, uh, west coast of the island, especially coastal areas, are the most likely to see those outages. Uh, the uh, North Island uh, has, has a slight risk, but not too much, especially Port Hardy, pretty sheltered from those winds. It was unusual when we saw the really high winds there last week, uh, or earlier this week, sorry. Uh, and east coast of the island, south island, I'd say a, a, a mid-moderate risk of uh, power outages there as well. On the lower mainland, uh, winds shouldn't be gusting too high unless you're on the uh, more southern parts of Metro Vancouver, which typically get, you know, less rain, more wind. Uh, they're 60 gusting 70, maybe 80. Uh, the rest of Metro Vancouver, really 40 gusting 60. Same in uh, Abbotsford uh, in parts of the Fraser Valley. Probably going to see those winds calm as you go further east. Uh, and uh, here I'd say, again, um, you know, Delta, uh, probably going to see the highest risk of power outages, but it's still just moderate risk and uh, low risk, but still very possible across the south coast. Metro Vancouver could see more outages uh, today as well. Okay, and I am looking at the outage map on BC Hydro right now, and it looks like it is the east coast of uh, Vancouver Island mm -hmm. right now that is still hit with current outages. So interesting to see that it'll be the west coast uh Mm -hmm. for this weekend yes should be uh, looking out east coast of the island though especially campbell river down to about qualcomm beach still has a, a a fair risk of seeing more power outages so the fact that this is really coming on the back of the last uh storm right. is is part of what's stressful i think mm -hmm. the last number i saw was fifteen thousand people still without power uh this is really just going to hamper more cleanup efforts uh probably cause more travel disruptions more outages and just further stretch bc hydro crews that are really just trying to get on the ground uh and i sort of uh, I've been calling this storm sort of the baby of the last one. Uh, we've got a lot of weather happening on the West Coast. To the south of us, hitting California right now, there's an atmospheric river, a, a pretty strong one that's been going on uh, all week since the bomb cyclone hit us here on Tuesday. We've got that bomb cyclone that hit us on Tuesday still spinning off the coast, uh, moving further away, but sort of interacting with this one. And that bomb cyclone interacting with the atmospheric river sort of gave birth to this, this smaller system that's hitting us now. And all of those things together are interacting and making it difficult to give 
a, uh, a really accurate forecast uh, even, even a few days out. So if you are looking at your weather app and you're seeing the forecast change a lot over the next day or two, um, don't be surprised. That is, that is what we're expecting. It's just things are very up in the air right now. Still up in the air, and thank, thank uh, we are very thankful that you are watching it for us. Dars Madavi, CBC's climate and science specialist. And a reminder for you, for the latest vital information, you can consider visiting CBC Light. It is a low bandwidth version of our CBC website. So it's perfect for when you're short on power or if you need to preserve data. You can go again to cbc.ca slash light. That is L-I-T-E.